The Dread Ring, Adventures in the Jungles of Chult. A tier four D&D adventure that is legendary with high level sword to sword reaction where we fight dinosaurs, dragons, gods. We have epic transformations and sometimes epic deaths. My name is Dr. DM and we are Greeting Garb. Any Alice lays before you, passed away of old age. However, his sacrifice has meant that Taki now has sprung back to life. Again. <laughs> One of my oldest friends. Nice. I'm so tired of this. I'd like to look over to Talkie. Could I check in on her. She looks. She looks like she's back to life, but not um, with it. Not conscious yet. But on that note, for Hera, when you say. I'm tired of it. You hear a voice as if from the ether that says, well then like stop it and slicing through the aether right in front of you is a time portal. You've seen it before. And stepping out is a high heeled boot. Let's go. An unexpected figure, metal whip in hand, dress sliced in all angles from combat, covered in blood but still perfect makeup is Vexalanthus. Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Yes! He seems visibly older. Her red, but it was so, uh, it, you know, red copper hair is flowing in a temporal distortion. Uh, has a lot, it has strands oh, yeah. of silver. Uh, and she pulls from the other hand, for, like pulls out the, from, uh, the portal, the severed head of Kronos and tosses it. Yeah! Yeah! Shit! She doesn't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it turns out this God of Time was totally a fake, planted by Tiamat. He was using any hours to keep watch, as it were, tabs on your party. I slayed him with the help of any hours. Oh shit, any hours is dead. That's all right. Uh, because we like totally also freed Enerith, the Elven God of Time, Lord of the Continuum, the real God of Time, and he gave me this. I'm so sure. And she pulls out Still, your amulet with a closed eye and has like beautiful interconnected rings. Please tell me that turns back time or does something to fix what just happened. Please. Please, for like, the love of God. Watch this. And she gets down, kneels at any Alice and puts the amulet and then puts it around his neck. And then she turns it almost like the, um, oh, what's that, Doctor Strange? You know, that kind of yeah. thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the ground meets any Alice against the. And tremble and cracks form in the stone as arcane symbols erupt all around, uh, glowing with this otherworldly light. Wisps with temporal energy comes like through them, <laughs> swirls around any Alice, uh, and like well, these ribbons you saw before, but past, present, and future coalesce together, dancing around, uh, and a torment of like temporal energy surges upwards yes! as any Alice is raised up in the air, uh, and uh, the skies crackle. There's thunder and lightning of his energy, and he's veiled, and like, his body's veiled, and it's like geometric patterns that go all the way up. Uh, and time decelerates around him. Time and it, like his, his uh, age, his age reverses completely back to where he was like before any of this happened, and returns to the ground, kind of glowing with this new energy of time, the power of demigod of time. Yeah! Yay! 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 <laughs> Any Alice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh God! <laughs> oh. I'm gonna rip the watch off of his uh, his arm. Okay, it falls and it's just uh, it's 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 not by. I was say, oh, you stop right by. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> firebolt, 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 firebolt. <laughs> and Vex puts her hand on your shoulder. Like I'm Hello, glad my you, friend. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm glad to see you as well. Like it only took 300 years. I'm not complaining because what you did for me, but we chased the false Cronus around multiple dimensions, me and your dad. Got along pretty well. He's a cool guy. And uh, <laughs> small thing, we killed Cronus uh, and like we also saved Enerus. So things are pretty good. 
<laughs> she fist bumps nice. you. <laughs> oh, um, 300 years. Yeah. Well, it's not like 300 years actually passed, but, you know, time, I don't know. Timey wimey, timey wimey stuff. Timey wimey, timey I'm getting Except used to me. all this. <laughs> um, like your dad wanted to come, but he had one more thing he had to take care of for the family. So he wanted me to give you this instead. Okay. That she hands you, oh, she rifles through her pack and hands you this. And you look at it with your, uh, well, your visor, with your specialized, as it were. Uh, and this, you're not sure what this means, but it's an arm mounted mini missile launcher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> so it lets you cast uh, the equivalent of Meteor Swarm, which is 20 D6, <laughs> a, a ninth level spell once per day. <laughs> I need more D6s. <laughs> uh, here. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's awesome. Come up. Yes. Yes. I've got more. Actually, I think that's already enough. Yes. Oh my god. I'm just gonna roll all the D6s. <laughs> Taki comes over to you, John. Taki, oh my god. Vex comes over to you. Vex, my friend. And it's been a long time, John, and I'm proud of you. Like you became the dragon. I knew you always were. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. She ruffled your hair. <laughs> Johnny boy. I'm proud of you, as is I, no doubt. Ben, with Io's Fate Breaker on her side, we'll be able to break Tiamat's cycle. Starting with this. And she ruffles in her pack once more. Damn, that pack is awesome. It's like Mary Poppins. <laughs> it's the green dragon mask. <gasps> Let's go. To the bag of holding. To the bag of holding immediately. Sorry, and as it were, ergo. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bag. Bag. We have the three. Hmm? We have the we white have one. We have the yes. red, green and one. These, and these these guys right here have the blue one. You have white, one. red, and green, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and the guys building the red ring apparently have blue, maybe? Yes, they have the blue. That's what you were told, I think. The prince told think. us that. Yeah. yeah, correct. Yeah. How'd you get this? Kronos had it, obviously. Uh, Come on. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Lalia. Uh, 300 years passed. Uh, I became quite a bit stronger, though, so I'm, like, ready to fight. Cool. We have a dread ring to stop. <sighs> yeah, I wish I could help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to fight, but, like, no. no but, like, <laughs> but, like yeah. seriously, I know this sounds shitty of me, but <laughs> someone, needs to, someone needs to take Taki back, and I assume that needs to be me, to the Blood Isles. I dodged <laughs> you probably want to take... <laughs> I'm giving her a hug. Though. Okay. Now she, that she's alive. She smiles, uh, but at least your eyes are still closed. She, you feel her presence with you. Yes, I'm sure her grandfather will want to uh, check up on her. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give her a uh, kiss on the forehead and hand her off. Okay. Oh Back god, take wait, her and... Was her grandfather the one who was like, what's your intention? Yeah, yeah, yeah my daughter. What's your job? He was one of the council members we had. He was a council member who was like, and what's your job? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, and he was like sweating bullets. <laughs> you were like, I swear I'm getting fully employed. Some of your are killed or whatever I do now. I'm a hero, god damn it. All right. I have piles of gold. <laughs> 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 oh, man. We'll be back in fighting shape in no time, I promise. Sounds good. Thank you for fighting this battle. Oh my God. Favor for a favor. A life for a life. Something like that. I know you're totally overcome whatever is in your way, so go give him the night house. <laughs> yes, you bet. All people, our way right. People now. died once or twice at this point, so you know. <laughs> Alright, I need to check my makeup and go see this dragon portal, so hello, don't worry, miss. Hello. Thanks. Uh, your makeup is always. Uh, Thank you, Nia. What was that? Oh, no. I, I think she's a little upset with me, but I think I did the right thing. We'll talk it out. Oh, no. You've been together for a very long time. It'll be fun. Like, what are you looking at me for? I'm getting a little embarrassed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to lean over to Taki and give her a, a kiss on the on the cheek. Okay. I'll see you soon. Heal up, friend. All right. See you later. And she walks back while she's her hair. <laughs> I slow and the dragon around portal. her hair so that it goes <laughs> oh, yeah, the shimmer, and then the portal to the dragon house closes behind you. You are in trouble. Oh, what did I do this time? Well, you died for starters. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. That doesn't even react. That's it was the only choice I had. You know what could make it better? That you let me plan your wedding. 
quit. Oh. I would have no one else to ask that would be better for the job. Right, no offense. Answer. Oh, I'd Direct be terrible answer. for the job. <laughs> <laughs> like, you would have a lot of servants to help, though. Yeah, I'll help. Uh, I'm excellent at planning weddings myself. Yes, uh. you certainly are. You certainly know how to skip out. Amalia, <laughs> is this true? <laughs> he is good at saying, yeah, the is nice. Oh my god. He's good at, at, at putting the bill. I'm more <laughs> And putting the bill. <laughs> Good at saying yes and putting the bill. Yeah. The flap opens and the acting commander comes in. Is it time? Yes. What happened here? Nothing at all. We heard some strange noises. I fell. Do not worry. Oh. She uh, fell. Okay. I'm fine. And the, and She's the, fine. And the prisoner from the Thayans? He healed oh, her. Who? And sent her there off with no a friend. Prisoner. <laughs> I understand. You're the heroes. Don't bother. Our forces are ready to go. You're not allowed to know hero so stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll let you take the vanguard. We'll Awkward. be just, okay. The battle. We'll follow behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Where you should be. <laughs> I sort of rush out of my tent. Okay. Because I, I can't do it. And I whistle <laughs> from my velociraptor. It comes up to me. And, and I just like swing my body around it like Legolas climbing up on that the horse that one time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except the dinosaur. the elephant? No. No, it was the horse. Oh. Are you like, and like, ready? go on, man, come here! <laughs> <laughs> and you hear calculating round. <laughs> <laughs> Turn left. <laughs> Turn left, bitch. Turn left. <laughs> Paul, you ready to go? I'm also ready. Right. All right. Velociraptor. You get on Velociraptors, and the, all the Hell Riders are ready to go. Uh, you head in the direction of the Dread Ring, uh, and you're all fully rested at this point. Hell yeah. Okay. I had a nice nap. Uh, and. What? Just getting glares from a molecule. Oh, you did have a nice nap. That's actually funny. You're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. And some hours pass uh, on your way, well, and you finally later. <laughs> you finally arrive to the location that the uh, Hell Riders have here. scouted out. What? The here. <laughs> <laughs> and here you sense a, a dark foreboding. This is an area of Cholt that is suddenly dark. No wildlife, no music of the jungle, and the necrotic energies you've been feeling, like from those cool dinosaurs and so forth, just manifests from the ground as like rot. The song Welcome to the Jungle plays in a minor key. I <laughs> 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 think that was funny. <laughs> just, uh, I don't even... It's a dumb, just like, it's a music joke, it's fine. Someone will get it. Continue. <laughs> That's it. Let's break this circle and turn it into a straight line. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> in D minor. <laughs> but, <I'm>... <laughs> but for okay. real though, do we know anything about the Un- circle and these cultists? Oh, we could have asked Taki. No, she was unconscious still. <laughs> yeah, I know that they all need to die. <laughs> <laughs> we need it's pretty straightforward. Oh, one of them. So John starts a chain reaction again, and the world ends. I mean, here's what I think. I'm going to fly up into the air. I'm going to shoot down like 16 fireballs on their fucking faces, and then we'll be done. Great. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm not needed anymore. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm going to for that uh, the Dread Ring. But Anyone's going to plan B? Uh, we should ready up. Okay, you see nothing in front of you, by the way. Little Are nothing. you sure? I pull out my lantern of reading. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> you see that there's a... Um, if I'm able to hear and dragon? something's within 10 I'm feet, I know what it is. Okay, you can see that there's a, a giant sort of... Uh, Invisible, illusory, like uh, cover over was probably the dread ring. You can't see too far with that, but magic, short sure, that shit, magic dome, <laughs> uh, magic invisible wall, dome of magic, dome of magic. I take a rock tonight. It goes straight through. Okay, I walk up to where where's where's the dome, dear? Where where does it stop? Right there. Okay. I'm gonna try to walk through the dome. Okay, you walk through the dome. You feel a little icky as you do, but in front of, well, you're yeah. through the dome. I'm through the dome. Okay. I'm in the John dome. disappears. It's following through. Okay. I'm also going to follow any Alice. I'll go. Yep. 
Okay, you all walk in in front of you, rising from this rotting, unforgiving earth is this towering structure that rises from the darkness. Its very essence is like malevolence. Um, and it's, it's you can tell, Thayan footprint, if you will, as dark arts is slathered all over this. It's just made up like obsidian walls, twisted gargoyles, macabre symbols, flickering sconces all the way up, and all of them like sickly green light. And at the apex here, uh, there is a, a ritual is unfolding. You can tell. It's you by there's like a coven of powerful, powerful spell, spellcasters. Excuse me. Uh, you hear like ritual words and actions and magics. And surrounding this tower uh, are ghoul dinosaurs of all types, like blade two, sword two, titans, raptors, uh, pterodactyls, everything, guarding the land and the air all around it. All they're all salivating this purple goo from the mouth. Oh, the How are they still doing the ritual if they don't have talking? They may have already sacrificed enough regular lives to finish. Yeah. Who's to say they didn't succeed in already siphoning her power? If what we have done may not have undone that. Indeed. Mm. Try not to play her, I should something. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is how it is. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Stay on that side of the table. I'm over here. Can't see what does right now. Um, do we want to like sneaky sneak to the tower, and do, or like we just just go? I don't think there's much sneaking past all of that. Well, most of us can fly. <laughs> but they're also flying. Yeah, there's tons of flying. They're all around. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. As you deliberate a plan, you are, are talking, right? And you feel your spine tingle behind you, and your blood almost boils for a moment, strangely. As above you, you're, you're talking, just pause for a moment, and you, like, you feel your sixth sense, right? And you look up uh, whether you want to or not. This Yes. Powerfully built figure, please be who I want it to be in a flash and landing like <laughs> completely unafraid in front of this horde of undead dinosaurs is a werewolf of incomparable height, yes! and super heavy musculature, yes! flowing dark mane with silver tufts, long sharpened claws and fangs are like great swords essentially, and and they give Let's like this, this this wicked toothy. Uh, look and smile in your direction, uh, and she just takes off in this incredibly agile steps that they're all like silent uh, as she surprises all these dinosaurs around her. Uh, she latches off onto like this first titan's head, like a T-Rex essentially, and just grabs it in surprise and just rips his oh. whole skull open uh, as like purple undead blood just gushes everywhere. Yes. And then she leaves from one dinosaur to the next, just ripping and tearing at them. And each each attack is like, leaves a torn, like exploding elemental energy. Hell and yeah. every corpse that she leaves behind her, there's like strings of blood to begin to pour up like into the sky. And then it was like, and, and like, ooh, like a howl. She controls them to just go towards another group and just explode. Uh, on to other ones, and there's this, there's this We brutal... look like losers over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot more than, than she could handle alone, but, <laughs> but this is a brutal, brutal, bloody chorus of like lupine destruction. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. But this individual go, go, is gonna need go, help because there's a go. lot more of these. Well, of course, that you know from. we have to help Jacob Black over here. <laughs> let's get on up in there. Okay. Yeah, let's go. You all charge forward. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, As you do, uh, this werewolf takes a moment, and it looks like like uh, like they're barely under control, uh, and they look back and say. Oh, I am Fen Fenris in Barovia saying goes, fight or die. <laughs> <laughs> and you just go, go, yeah. yeah. But we fight. <laughs> but we fight. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, go, go ahead and give me a group initiative. Whoever's high initiative, just roll it for the group. Uh, and then do cinematic actions. Who would be? So that would be. It'd be you oh, me. Okay. okay. Roll. I have just as high as you. 14. Okay. I got a 21. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... All right. Yeah. You're up first. Yeah, let's do that. As all these ghoul dinosaurs, like, like you know, shift their heads, like, weird awkwardly and turn to you and make these hideous, like, war sounds combined with undead gurgles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who wants to take the first? You're all free to go. Whoever wants to go first, go ahead. I've got this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, because they're all undead, I'm going to once again uh, channel that light, powerful energy, the touch of 
brilliant radiance that I learned from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and the brilliant sunlight life. flashes forward towards the largest grouping of dinosaurs. Okay. 60 foot radius centered on a point. Um, and that light explodes, eviscerating their eyeballs, melting the skin, burning it around their face. This is already already happening. This is all, they were already just in that state, so it's even more pronounced. Yeah, they're just like bones essentially. Yeah, just <laughs> the skin is just boiling off. Yeah, of rainy, but and they just like they don't even they've been taking steps forward as they do. They just kind of like dissolve into matter yeah. all around the sixty foot. Lynch. And then that's how we like our undead. And I look okay, at him and I'm like. Oh, and actually, I'm going to quicken that, so I will also, I will also, um, uh, we'll shoot, uh... Cantrip some kind? Yeah, yeah, I'll do, I'll shoot, uh, three, I'll fling three fire bolts at three separate, like, of the smallest dinosaurs I can see. There's some small velociraptors just like... fire magic I do! (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's right, you can cast those without hurting yourself. All right, who's up next? I'm going. I'll, I'll go respond ahead. to John. I'll go. Okay. Hey, John, check this out. But <laughs> <laughs> cinematic actions, you can do more than just one thing. Okay, so I'm going to, in the kind of circle that I'm around, yes. I'm going to cast Wall of Fire in a circle around me. Okay. Killing dinosaurs around me and oh, keeping some burn. trapped within. Yeah. Give me some trapped within. And then I'm going to use charges on my ring to cast fireball. And okay. I'm also going to cast fireball. So I'm basically going to cast fireball from my two hands. Oh, and I'm like okay. spinning in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> just like wow. taking a lot of my <laughs> machine guns. Yeah, like the machine guns. Fire just explosions. And all you see, there's a circle of fire, right? And just like hunks, chunks of like undead dinosaurs just shooting out. And they're all kind of like. Uh, <laughs> they're all very well done. Uh, and I'm also. Yeah. I'm going to jump a little bit up in the air and sure. fly for a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, you can do And that. then continue to, um, because I can cast fireball multiple times yeah. for various reasons through things that I can do. Sure. Just keep doing that in the air to the uh, the outer circle around. Okay, there's fire much fire well. happening yeah. in this particular area. All right, who's next? I'm I'm next. Okay, Neil, go ahead. I kind of phase into different spots up into the air. Oh, nice, okay. As I'm going, each spot has a after image of me firing one of my guns. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just and then I end up in the at the top of the yep. sky. I just look around, and then. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, all right, yeah. Nice. So lots of shots, uh, shots fired, <laughs> and just like piercing and exploding as you get to the top. Yeah, you do that, and like you can blanket like this whole area uh, was just. It's almost like uh, you know how the dinosaurs died. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> like like meteors from from the from the sky. There's just much, many many small ones, just <laughs> and they all get PTSD and die. They all get PTSD and die. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, been missed the launcher. It's like you know, swarm around. All right, who's next? Me. Oh yeah, Molly, go, oh, go, go. Sorry, go, okay. Go. Um, okay, so as I'm seeing all this happen, I'm like, yes, look at us go! So good. Um, so little so what I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna i I'm gonna kinda f- float a little bit above the air above the ground. Uh, and I'm going to kinda put my hands out a little bit like I'm 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 a puppeteer almost. Uh, and so from kind of out of me you're gonna see these like kind of these spindrels of like swirling radiant energy that kind of go whoosh out okay. um, and they kind of en- envelop almost the dinosaurs oh, okay, nice. uh, to destroy undead. So the What? I have, oh, yeah, sh- dude. You really clear? Yeah, I want them to kind of encircle with these spindrels of light yeah. to kind of like suffocate and crush. And you all see around dinosaur. Amalia is literally just dinosaurs being <laughs> they, they like blow up in like holy fire. Like <laughs> Like like dozens and dozens Holy like nonstop. Uh, on. <laughs> see, see you're seeing from all of my fingers is kind of. Oh, that's out. amazing! I thought you had to yeah, destroy undead. Yeah, not even using any magic power, just literally invoking death upon them. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Holy death upon them. That's um, awesome. Nice. Yes. And so then, is that my turn? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Right. Uh, Basil, you're up. Great. Uh, I have. I've uh, put my arms around the neck of this Velociraptor, and I've... Uh, Which one? Ch- the one I'm riding. Oh, you're taking it into battle. Yeah. Sure, go for and, it. Oh, I, damn, I, I got off one. <laughs> no, no. And it glows with uh, with magic as I channel jump. 
onto it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. And so we're leaping around, and I'm punching things. Oh my <laughs> God! Yeah. You're even taking out like pterodactyls, like <laughs> yeah, like it's part of my armor, Mario everything. On just your <laughs> yes, like Mario on your <laughs> All right, and then not much time elapses where you clear a way uh, through to be able to get up to the top of the tower. Oh, yeah. And uh, Fenris is waiting at uh, the bottom of the steps, if you will. So you run up. Can Fenris fly? And she, she's uh, still transformed. Oh, I think she could probably jump pretty far. <laughs> Keep it. Onward. On, let's Onward. Go. Yes. I cannot. My wife, Rhea, is being held in prison underground. I will save her. The rest up to you. Uh, Very well. Uh, so, understood. Thanks for the head start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fight. Good. And she, like, the Hulk jumps, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> destroying my armor at the same time. Yeah, she just hulks, uh, jumps away into, like, a different part of the uh, tower uh, compound. Mm. Nice. Nice. All right. Cool. I like her new friend. Yes. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to start flying up. I hold my hand out to Basil. <laughs> Would you care for a lift? Oh, yes, please. Anyways, fuck these stairs. <laughs> I'll get off the joke and I know. And I'll I'm going to just hand. sprout. I don't actually transform. I just sprout wings from the back of my from my back, and I've I just... never been more. <laughs> <laughs> and I just start flying straight up towards you, racing you up. All right, Basil. And I'm right on John's Oh, Oh, you, you're, you're in your Sultana oh, yeah. Super 4. Okay. Uh, Basil, you go to take Analysis' hand, and you once again feel weak and nauseated. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just some tummy troubles. <laughs> Analysis, you feel... You, you see her kind of get, like, a little green in the face. No. <laughs> I grab his hand to hold him up. Okay? Yeah, I'll lean on you. Okay, uh, and once again, you all see this vision appear in front of Basil. Terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> so bad! Old knees, Wait, top it. like a GI! This is like flight. a long, long time ago. You can see it's just, it's momentary. Huh? Uh, this elusive relic garden, <laughs> relic guardian, excuse me, uh, known as Ceres. They safeguard him, the sacred light of Ouroboros for countless generations. Protector of the realms in their time. They speak to you with urgency. Basil, the summoning ritual of the Night Serpent's almost complete. We're here. I know, thank you. It falls in your hands to protect the sacred light of Ouroboros. <laughs> but know that you ever find yourself falling into the darkness. Think of your friends, think of your struggles, think of us. We're all here for you. We'll do what it takes to protect the light. We always have and we always will. <laughs> be brave, be victorious. Hey, take your hand, and once again, you feel refreshed. You all get the equivalent of a long rest. Uh, dude, you're some nice friends. <laughs> you're giving it too much power. <laughs> I don't oh, say that. oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> too much power. That's <laughs> the end. No. Okay. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Basil. I'll take my flip. I'm ready, Basil. Be brave. Yeah. Be seal. It's last to here. <laughs> all right. You all fly up. Well, wings, 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 wings. Time distortion. <laughs> Just <laughs> kind of phasing up to yeah. different points. Yeah. Okay, you reach the top, and it's a circular platform with like large clawed parapets. It's heavy with the scent of like incense. There's glyphs and sigils Fucking everywhere. Cultists. Yeah, correct. Uh, and a it's host, always the cultists. A host of chromatic dragons are in the center. Oh, chained down oh. below some a necrotic force cage. Uh, they look. I mean, I don't know if you can't tell if they're dead or not, but uh, there they are. How many dragons? Uh, you can't tell. Maybe a dozen. Oh. Uh, and there's Saiyan priests all around them, uh, you know, robed. Uh, and there's it's in the middle. Of, well, of them is like is the blue worm speaker. Uh, they're all chanting and resonating. Their energies are are kind of uh, taking this this ritual to like its uh, climax, if you will. Can I lock on? Sure. We'll do whatever you want. I'm gonna use my visor and lock onto all the priests. Yeah. <laughs> just fire missiles at each of them. Oh, well, it's only once a day for that. We just got a long rest. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be 3D printing overnight. Come <laughs> on, They're all just chanting, you know, they stay in, they're gonna curse at any of them. Like, they whiff like they're. Are they also. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, shh. 
true. <laughs> it's like the last AC is like missiles from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Some of this assholes. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's like an Arnold. My technological that's prowess. That's like an Arnold line. I come from the future. To I come from the future. <laughs> Summon this asshole. <laughs> and then he would just like look up. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna follow that up with a. I I just, they're all dead. Oh, oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> I just, oh. John's like, I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just, I'm like, I'm like, just like a little fireball, like fizzles out of my hand, like <laughs> crashes into the wall. All right, you slice them all down. The blue dragon mask, um, which is indestructible, just uh, chain moves, sort of falls, and clings. I'm gonna over. run after it. Uh, you, you all get. Okay. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna scoop it up into the bag of hold. Okay. Nice. The rest of you, the air is still crackling with like a dark. Is there energy. still this kind of cage over the dragons? Uh, yes. What kind of age dragons? We're talking like juveniles or a whole host of them, all chromatic. Yeah. Uh, but different ages. Yes. Okay. Any metallic and any. Dragons? No, they're all metallic dragons. The, oh, they're all metallic. I mean, I didn't mean they're to say metallic. They're good dragons. Yeah, okay. they're all metallic dragons. Um, can I do an Arcana check to check for the source of wherever this magic is coming? Sure, go ahead. I think they dispelled because all the 23 things die. I'm sorry? Like the force that's holding them didn't get dispelled. It apparently wasn't died. the priest himself. No, you see uh, there's a, there's look like a magic box that's emanating this force field. I'm going to go up. Okay. Um, I don't think something like counter spells is going to work on this. No, we'll, 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 no. Oh. I've got an idea. What'd you like to do with Anyone it? Anyone have any ideas? <laughs> only, uh, only notice it unless you tell everybody. Oh, um, this thing right here, this box is suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Ooh, okay. I never would have guessed okay, anything. So I'm suspicious. going to go up to the box. Lantern and reveal. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to think of the time that my love and I fell through the air from the Temple of Akadi. That was you and Amalia. I think of the, yeah, my love and I. Oh, my oh, love. never mind. My, my love, <laughs> my, she's my love. And I'm going to think of the time that love. I, I um, was we, from the, the moment that we were at the highest height before we fell from the Tower mm-hmm. of Akati. And I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to take this box and I'm going to cast teleport on it. I'm going to teleport the box up to the height of where we fell from. Okay, you teleport the box up and then what do you do with the box? So it, we te- I teleport it out of this, like out of Cholt to the place where it was. So oh, it falls so randomly in the like literally <laughs> falling off the tower of a cottage. Yeah, there's like a ta- there is a box now falling right. from the, the top camera of the pans tower. to a different area altogether. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it cuts and it goes. <laughs> it's really just, just a box of wood uh, with some sigils inside. It breaks and then the teleportation. Uh, excuse me, the force bear dissipates. What the fuck do you do with the box? <laughs> I mean, you could have just like crushed you with your foot or something, but that's fine too. Yeah. <laughs> but that was about it. I guess that was a little bit slightly more dramatic. You saved us all, John. I wanted, I wanted to do that, but we don't know. We don't all right. have to. All dra- you see all the dragons in there. Oh, it was probably a bomb. <laughs> I go up and see okay. if any of them are alive. <laughs> they, all, they all look like alive, but very, very weak. They, they probably need take. I'm sorry. You said they were chromatic. They were oh, metallic. They were all metallic. Oh, I, I said they, that by accident. Oh, okay. Sorry, I meant metallic. So. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, buddies. <laughs> they're wait, all close. To, they're, they're all in bad shape and like close to dying. Drop this so. box on them. They could fly, right? <laughs> Amalia, we need your uh, help here. What? Yes. What's happening? Oh, yes, the dragons. I go up to them. Hello. Okay. They, right. they need heals. I. Could, is it something that I think I can? Uh, they I dead? mean, you could stabilize them all. Who's yeah, dead? Everybody... they're not dead, but ah. they're very, very weak. Well, I'm just gonna do like a, a gentle healing hands. Okay, just give them a little bit of energy. Hold. And again, right above you, the air is like crackling. Looks like we the, need to go. the um, rituals is coming, coming to crescendo at this point. Like they've already enacted it, and it's happening. Oh, There's no way to dispel no. the ritual. You did what you could, I think. Okay. We do to get these dragons out of here, which means Amalia needs to get them to where they can get out. They still need to be alive. <laughs> no, because if the ritual's already happening, it means that the, the serpent's gonna show up. So we need to stay and fight. Which means that we someone's gotta fight this thing. That's what I'm saying, we can't just run. <laughs> That'd be pretty shitty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> but, okay. So let me try to, I'm gonna see, uh, is there a dragon that looks a little more healed? No, no, they're all unconscious at best. 
Oh. I think we need to leave them for now. It's the ritual is almost finishing. We need to get out of yeah, here. We need to prepare. Okay. I uh yes, that's fine. They are all stabilized. I you guess. all have sending stone, don't you? For like Taki and other people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Thomas going to shout at hey, the Sarah. air. Hey, uh, Fenris, if you can hear us, uh, now would be a really great time. <laughs> some You're calling, who are you calling? I'm who calling Vex and Taki. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah. You get a message back right away. It says, like, it says, like, gotcha. Like, got you. Like, whatever. And then uh, on your coordinates, there's a uh, large teleportation circle that opens, and the dragons, like, and it closed. Oh, great. Bye-bye. Well, now we should get out of here. Hey, Gundren, Gundren, could you could you bring an army of dwarves or something to help us with this problem? Oh, there are another front. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> Just us, the five. Just us. All right. And we go? as we that stuff. portal uh, recedes above you, the ritual has culminated, and slithering and contorting from this roiling vortex of darkness. <laughs> is the avatar of Dendar. Not the colossal snake of legend, but almost like a yaunty looking figure. It's coiled and sinuous, uh, but you feel all the aspects of darkness of this dark goddess through them. Uh, there's like light absorbing green and black scales, razor sharp fangs, uh, and but they seem to be only wielding like a power of this ancient primordial being. That means we still have time. Hit it now. Hit it now, get it down. Kill it quick. Everyone ready? Give it all you got. Uh, I'm gonna sort of like summon from the air and from my runes as activate it the, the storm rune to um, grant us all advantage or disadvantage on anything for the next minute. Hell yeah. Wait, wait, once or infinite times? For the next minute, infinite every roll I see. <laughs> what? That's amazing. Not okay. God. And then what looks like this, this harbinger of, of uh, Dendar uh, snaps its necks and says, and looks at you immediately and says, oh, bringer of Ouroboros, if we can't eat you from the inside, we'll eat you from the outside. Roll initiative. Oh! Let's pray to you, Matt. Come on! All right, we're going to lock in initiative. No. We're about to go to combat. And we're back. The battle with the Avatar of Dendar has begun. We're on top of the Dread oh. Ring here as Dendar has also summoned some ancient serpentine naga creatures uh, from the past to battle. So, okay. Behera, you're up. Ooh, and okay. just for the sake of uh, you all, there's also two glowing crystals at the top of the tower here that appeared uh, alongside Dendar. Cool. Behera has I... a shimmering shield around her. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I have my wings out, and I'm yes, going you do. to fly up and go straight for the naga warrior that's to the left. Okay, got it. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. You rush forward. Go ahead. And sword attack. Um, Do it. 23 to hit. Okay, that's a hit. Um, that would be a 22 at the... Uh, that's 22 sword damage, and then I... Do I add sneak attack? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. As long as you hit, you can add sneak attack. Oh, I don't have average damage for sneak attack. That's your die? Oh, yeah, what's your have? that. Yeah, I calculated for you. Uh, oh, I forgot to write down, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's so the stabbing with her uh, shadow blades. It stabs this Yonti in, in the in the side and it's, six, and it's three, weak four. scales and just waits a moment as she turns a dagger while calculating her damage. 56, <laughs> 56 thank you. What? Uh, and that's okay. one, and then so the second is a, uh, the second is uh, 20 to hit. Uh, that's a miss. Oh. They're uh, heavy scales. Dang. Okay. Um, so as a bonus action, I'm yeah. going to cast Fireball. Okay, you can cast behind, do the, the patented John move, cast yeah. behind. Yeah. All right, so you can look over the side, cast Fireball in a, uh, what's the radius of it? Uh, 20 foot radius, roughly. I think so. Okay, you would, 20 foot radius, yes. you could cast it, see where I'm pointing right here? Mm-hmm. Right here. Uh, it'll encompass the crystal and the... Perfect. Okay, so the crystal takes the full damage. Heck yeah. And that's so. average damage is 64. Okay. 
All right, because wow. uh, you have empower, you do double Correct. damage with fire because you're the yeah. Sultana City of Brass of the <laughs> 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 All right, so it explodes like a little supernova. <laughs> Uh, and the Yontis just like push forward from the force of this. Does he fall off? Uh, oh, he actually he falls, falls into off. your daggers yeah. and dies. Yeah. Uh, and she's just, she just nice. pushes oh. body Wait, overboard, the Mahara. Ah. On top. Mahara pushes body on. Ah. <laughs> well, he's gone. I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh lost him. Uh, and the crystal looks slightly cracked. Okay. And it's and emanating like a, like acidic uh, poison acid. And then I can still expend charges on my ring, correct? No, you use you use everything. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Okay. All right, now layer action. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. These crystals begin to glow, and they emanate a pulse mm-hmm. all around the top of the arena. Uh, one does poison damage, the other one does acid damage. Oh, boy. All right, so everyone give me uh, a constitution saving throw, please. Add advantage. Oh, yes, thank yes. you, because you have your... I, oh, my attack I was an my advantage, room. I could have re-rolled it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can do everything at advantage? Yep. It doesn't matter. Every attack, it's okay. it's throw, it's and it's too late. It's ability okay. to yeah. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. Fine. It's fine, it's Oh, okay, it's okay. okay. All right, let's go. 18. We're doing, sorry, what are you saying? Okay. Kind of roll, sorry. Uh, con save. Con, thank you. 29. You're good? I'll just go ahead and... 24. 17. Okay, uh, it's 19 is a check. Uh, okay, oh, so you're gonna take, take one. Damage. What? Your magic resistance. Oh, you resist to all. You take damage from half damage from both, and you're immune to what? Poison. So you take no damage from poison. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. It is 35 points of poison, 35 points of acid. So it does not affect anybody. It only affects you all. Thirty. It's, it's that's a weaver. You made the save too. If you made the save, you take half. If I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. For both. Mm-hmm. So what were the numbers again? 34 and. It was 35. 34 and 35. So you're taking half, you just do 30, so you just 30. Oh, yeah, we'll say for sake, we'll just say 35, 34, because it's easier to round. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, it's DC of 19. Yep, I missed by one. It's, it's 70 total points of damage. I get hit, yikes. Oh! Oh! It washes oh, over you, and you feel sickly. Too. You probably know what Basil feels like when he gets nauseous. Oh, oh no. that's quite terrible. miserable. All right. Uh, All right, uh, Basil, you're up. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, you are. All right. You're having people. Go get him, boy. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I would like to uh, run for the closest. Any of them? that's down here, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, which way? Um, let's North, go. Suisse. North, I'm gonna west. clear the way to the other crystal, I guess. Okay, that's a good idea. Don't uh, worry about that right. So whatever's closest. All right, so you run forward to these two? Uh, yeah, as long as I'm staying within 60 feet of the team. Yeah, you are. Great. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna go in punching. All right. With my yeah. electronic sort of humming gauntlets. And these, these Nagas are bigger than you are, even large size, so they're- Great. I feel good about that. <laughs> I think I can give they're... myself advantage question. What? What is it? The any thing? visible roll, and I, does that count? Does it include my roll? Yes, it, it, yeah. those kind of things usually count yourself. What is the storm rune? Go so bad. Uh, yeah, it's a storm rune. Yes. Uh, so that's a 19 plus 12 to hit. That's a hit. Wow. Great. <laughs> yeah. It was really bad before. So, uh, and then my it's 17 uh, thunder damage ricochet out of my fist. Oh my god! For to hit both or to hit the first one anyway. <clears throat> okay, got it. Yeah. Great. And then as you take full damage. Great. Where are you punch in the face? Oh, right into the shin. Nice. And then uh, 24 to hit. Uppercut. Uppercut. Yeah, my second Uppercut. Nice, nice. <laughs> Actually, can I reach the other one? Uh, yes. At this In the same range? Great. Yeah, you can, yes. I'd like to hit that one now. And uh, that's a 13 for the damage. All right. And they both have disadvantage on attacks against anybody but me. About you. Okay, so both the Nagas. So you fry the Nagas and the, like in their... Uh, like chest cavity, essentially, and it shoots up and down uh, their necks and their legs. All right, good. What else? Great. Uh, and then for a bonus action, and that's uh, gonna uh, uh, huh? to my defensive shield and gain three temp HP. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, that was a charge forward. Any else? You're up. I'm going to use my one and eight casting of time stop. Okay. I get two full turns. I'm going to kind of phase step up to the other crystal. All right. 
Can we decide this works a little differently? I mean, jerk. Huh? Can we decide time stop works a little differently? You use like all your attacks at once yeah. or something? Well, I can't actually attack something. It ends it. Oh, really? Well, I take it back. I can't attack a person or affect an object being worn by a person. I can attack that crystal. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. All right. So time slows down. <laughs> Do I need to hit anything to hit it? No. Okay. So it's, I got one crit and three normal hits. Okay. Um, the crit's going to be 93. Okay. Uh, plus it takes an additional half that on the beginning of the next round. Okay. And then the other four hits are all 46 and then half on the next, or no, no, okay. no additional half. Well, anyway, this is your first turn? Yeah, that's, no, that's my two turns that I got. Oh, okay, right okay. Time stop. Well, this crystal just, uses. <laughs> it's a slow motion. It's just the rifle. Just... <laughs> and it just, and you all see this happen, but it doesn't happen, but it happens later, but it happens before, it all happens. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my movement it. to be back down with everyone else with my pistol and my shield out again. Okay, so- Good job, Annie Alice. Wow, that's amazing. Nice. All right, so Annie Alice just time stopped. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Yeah, that crystal's done. So can we longer do anything? <laughs> I've been sitting here the whole time. But I will. <laughs> anything else in the house? Um, let's see. Do I have anything left I can do on that turn? No, I used all my attacks, so I including my action search. So. All right, Dendar is going to go now. All right, Dendar. Uh, swoopsies. Then terrible map. Summons uh, around you a aura of, uh, well, a spell, Cloud Kill. Oh, oh that sounds great. lovely. Uh, so everyone needs to give me a save. An advantage. <clears throat> it's a 20 foot radius. It's everyone here. Which type again? Uh, that, in uh, 20 foot. that includes you, Basil. Oh, advantage, thank God. <laughs> that was a net uh, one. Con, Dex, what are we talking about? Uh, it's poison. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, con. 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 No. Con. Is this me as well? Yeah, no, you're out of, this. You're out of it. Oh, never mind. 23. 23, okay. I am running terrible. What save is this? Uh, you make it. It's uh, Econ save for poison damage. It doesn't matter for you. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, it does not make it. I didn't make it, though. 27. How much? Okay, it's 40 points of poison damage. Ooh, great. Oh, thank God. All right, and the gas will stay here. And it, continues to, it will continue to expand. Oh, it doesn't just stay in that area. It actually keeps increasing. Yes, correct. Ooh. All right, uh, then uh, Dendar will come down. Dendar. <laughs> uh, towards you, Basil. Sure. Uh, and is gonna fire uh, beams of ancient primordial darkness uh, at you. Of course. Excuse me? It just charges, it's How like beam. Rude. Think of like uh, a, like, what is it spell, like scorching ray or whatever, just beams yeah. of dark uh, primordial, like beginning of the world, ma uh, beginning of creation magics. Okay. Okay, yeah, those both hit. All right, Basil. Uh, that is... Yeah, are they at disadvantage? How are they at disadvantage? I'm invoking it with the Storm Rune. Okay, so I looked at the Storm Rune. You can only invoke it once. Once what? you Once you invoke what? it, you can't do so against your... Uh, no, I've invoked it. No, no, but it's active for one minute. Oh, okay, so you can continue to do it? It's invoked my, my, for one minute. It's invoked for one minute. Because once you invoke this... Oh, wow, okay. All right, well, yeah. then I was wrong. So it's disadvantage. Turns. That's that <laughs> for seventh level. I'm in a seems... prophetic state. I do. Yeah, I mean, so I only use that each rune cool. once per long rest, or shorter long. Once you invoke this rune, you can't. You know, okay, I, I, I guess that's true. Or are you yeah. Doing that differently. Uh, I'm reading like you can do it one time for seventh level spell. Give your whole team advantage and give every enemy a disadvantage for ten turns. No one else three? thinks that's no, no, here, hold on. reasonable. Let me read the text and then people can weigh in. Okay. Using this rune, you can... Uh, this does not weigh it in the comments down below. <laughs> what do you, you think about storm? You can the rune as a bonus action to enter a prophetic state for one minute or until you're incapacitated. Until the state ends, when you or another creature you can see within 60 feet of you makes an attack roll, a saving throw, or an ability check, you can use your reaction. Oh, you can use your reaction. Okay, so you can do it one time per turn. You can do it one time per turn. we couldn't all be getting re uh, advantage on all these different gas rolls either. You can do it one time per turn. You would choose one person. You would choose oh, one person. Yeah. Use your reaction oh, one time per turn. That's oh, a little more reasonable. No. 
So okay, it probably that's should fine. not work. Given Wouldn't have mattered anything for me. I had a joke. I was failing. I mean, I think maybe then it's been used. I think it's been uh, used. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yeah so that's. Uh, I feel yeah. what do, so. Okay. That was really good. First turn, though. Yeah. And uh, now I know how to play. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you have to use your reaction. Give one person that advantage. Okay. advantage. Okay. It's still really good. Every turn, your reaction is is uh, weaponized, if you will. Okay. Uh, but I mean, I'll, I'll let you go. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. Does Dengar actually? I mean, just give it. Did you? Does anybody else think it's busted? Yeah. I thought it was busted. Every single player. Advantage at every single attack, every single turn for 10 turns, give the most advantage. What the heck? I was like, that can't be right. You do a lot of fudging here. So. <laughs> Dr. DM. Yes. Does Dendar actually land at 90? No, I don't know. Still in the air. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how far up are they? 30 feet. Dendar is about to be dead there. Dendar is about to be dead there. How far up are they? 30 feet. Dendar is about to be dead there. Dendar is about to be dead there. Okay. Uh, it's 37 points of force damage uh, twice. So uh, instead of since that rune is dead to me, I'm gonna use a different <laughs> rune. Sure, okay. <laughs> and redirect that damage, at least one of the hits. Sure. Uh, to one of the snakes that's in front of me. All right, so it comes down, coils around you, and then <laughs> hits one of the other oh my God, uh, full, nagas. Full. <laughs> direct, yeah. Uh, which you've already heard, and the naga just hits, takes a hit, Control. and it right. just disappears. <laughs> disappears into nothing. Dead. Which one? No, nope. not that it's one. Not that's the one I just destroyed the crystal by. Okay, the other one's three points of force damage. Edge. Okay. Oh, Great. you you got okay. the crystal, but not. Says, I can't okay. attack a person it's with that. Got it, got it, got it. Will we start? And that's it, John. You're up. <laughs> uh, gonna use my bonus action to transform. No, no, it's a free action. Oh, it's free? Okay, great. I'm gonna transform into my uh, pearlescent dragon form. Okay. So my wings uh, uh, become pearly as they are, like, the, I already had wings, but they were not my pearlescent wings. Uh, so that's my dragon uh, wings. So that's a separate ability. <laughs> so they, co- they get covered in a shimmy pearlescence. Um, my my fangs and my, my claws become razor sharp, long pearlescent. Uh, daggers hot, and then again, you catch glimmers of the full sized ancient dragon that sort of surrounds my body as if I'm almost piloting it like a giant. Mech. That's so cool. Um, that a giant you, are, you are hot by and mech. <laughs> so I just. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blast out my frost fire breath. Directly cones to, towards what? Uh, directly up towards uh, Dendar. So against one enemy. Um, one very. Oh, I can actually. Enemy. If I fly up enough, I'm gonna blast it towards Dendar and the. Other yeah, you can, one you can blast it towards yeah, all these, two. all Dendar and these three. Yeah, as well. Excellent. I'll do that. Nice. All right, so John, you fly up with your wings, and they need a 21 dex save. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. All right. All right. That's uh, Dendar made it, and the other three failed. Um, 91 damage. Okay. Average damage. Uh, that's just 48. Okay. What? Average damage of a D. Five. Okay. All right, you, they, you hear this, your breath weapon charges up and it's like a spiral vortex of yes, like the, of, of the avatar flame and, yeah. and okay. ice crystals and just blast. And I was like oh recoil up and then they're just like frozen <sighs> and then the frozen ice just melts down and they're all dead. What? Uh, Oh my, get out, no way. Okay. And then our sword got hit. Blooded killer. Yes, correct, yes. Cold blooded reptile, cold blooded. Okay. Anything else, John? Cold blooded, cold blooded killer. (laughs) John? Uh, that. Oh, sorry, Aragol. My best way didn't hear me. No, it's all good. (laughs) (laughs) I don't answer to that name. That's all I can do. That's my. Okay. Right? I don't. All right. You You didn't say spells were bonus action, did you? If you use your sorcery point, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> but what's in a spell, though? You hear so, a voice from within. What's so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna then cast. Uh, I'm going to then, in my dragon oh. form, invoke uh, the power of sunburst. Um, and once again, the, this breathing, this uh, this single pinpoint of light that explodes. Shattering directly um, on top of Dendar. Okay. Um, Dendar. Dendar. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not done. How much uh, radius on it? it uh, Sixty time. feet. Oh, uh, if you hit, if you want to hit this Naga as well, you would also hit Basil. I must suppose. Oh wait, no. If you blow up, blow up above. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'll do it up above. Okay. All right. I used to think of Gengar like the Pokemon. Okay. A shattering explosion of light. Um, 
fractures space and time. Okay, what's the damage? <laughs> That's my shtick. That's my shtick. What's the damage? <laughs> um, the average damage on that is 46. That's it? 48. 48? So 20 damage? Yes. Sunburst? Oh, Sunburst is 12d6, so that would so be... So 48 damage, 48. not 48. Oh my god, 48. <laughs> 40, 48. 48. Okay. No, it blows I was like, 48? Uh, no, and on a failed slave... Jesus. On a failed save... Uh, well, the Naga, the Naga made it, but then they don't use legendary resistance, so they did not fail. Master. Okay. All right, John, you're done. The Nagas are up on the, the ones on the bottom of the tower. All right, so they're going to charge forward. Any what? else? The first one attacks you. You me. I uh, oh, He's a lot of time. 29? Yeah. Okay. All right, so if we attack. All the time. That's a hit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a, that's a crit. I literally. What the? What the mean? Uh, and that's a miss. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be uh, the crit is 40 points of piercing. The other ones are 20. So 60 total points of piercing damage. How are we doing, guys? Uh, the last one is oh, okay. a contested, uh, a contested grapple check. So strength, athletics, please. Me? Yes. Okay. That's gonna coil around you. One sec, let me do my math here. Okay. Wait, any else? That's a 29. Doing? Can you 29 athletics? Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. Oh no, I cannot. Okay. It coils around you, any else? Okay. All right, uh, and the coil damage uh, is 25 points of bludgeoning. And now you're restrained. That's okay. I didn't need to move anyway. All right, uh, that's the first one. <clears throat> okay, Basil. One of the Nagas slithers over to you as it does it, like it's, it's pressing the imprint on the stones, it's so heavy. Amalia! <laughs> Are you All like right. suffering? Oh, okay. All right, Basil, you've been hit by everything. You're hit. That's a crit, Basil. Not All right, and the last one's a miss. So two has 60 points of piercing damage. All right, and then the grapple, any contestant strength check, please? No, you don't. What? Because <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Are you really? All right, Basil, yeah. down. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wait. Uh, nope, that was a saving throw. Never mind. Yep. All right, so get the uh, Naga's going to recoil around you, and next turn we'll eat your head off. Sure. Yeah. Great. That That's nice. Sense. All right. Doing great. Uh, other Nagas, here we go. Was going to slither up to attack you, Behera? Oh. It slithers up and turns its head and bites you. Okay. All right, miss. That's a hit. And that's a miss. For 20 points of uh, piercing right. damage. And you contest the strength save. Contested athletics check. Uh, athletics? Yes. Oh, dang it, not acrobat. Yep. Oh, no! What's your total? Oh. Two. <laughs> oh, my ultra roll is two, but it's a lot higher, so... I'm gonna stop that. What? I forgot I have the repulsion shield. Sorry. Yeah. All right, so you are currently grappled, or you're restrained by the Naga, and you take oh. 25 points of bludgeoning damage. Dude! 25? Yes. All right, uh, and last one, Amalia is gonna slither over to you. What? No. All right. Thanks. What's it gonna hit me with? That's a crit. What the? Dude. All right. That's a hit, and that's a miss. Is it what kind of attack is this? Sorry, excuse me. Uh, these melee? are all. No, it's using its its giant maw to. So it's not melee. melee. So it is melee. It is melee. Yes. Okay, so now I want to use my reaction. Okay. Okay, so uh. Okay, the attacker has to make a deck. I'm gonna try to use my wrath of storm. I'm like, oh, I don't think so. Make a little storm cloud to try to like bounce them off of me. Okay, um, it just does damage, I think, right? Dex save. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, fails. Heck yeah. So two d8. So we'll just do what? Uh, uh, ten points of damage. Okay, got it. So he kind of hits in the chest my little storm cloud. Okay, he's but he's continues to. <laughs> okay, well. I tried. <laughs> okay, it's a crit. So that's sixty points of piercing damage. And you can test the sa- uh, strength save, please. Sixty. Stray, he said strength? Yes, no, athletics. Sorry, athletics? Yes, it's, that's how grappling works. Athletics. Yes. Yes, 21. Oh my god, okay. Ah! Uh, you managed to, like, uh, whoosh like away with your wings, and he tries to grapple you, uh, just not successfully. 60. Okay, that's it. So, Molly, you're up. Hold on, sorry, 145 minus 60. Can you do that math for me, please? Thank you. Um, okay, great. Are my friends all really de- dead and mm-hmm. sad? Talk amongst you. Okay, great. Uh, in character, in character. Uh, okay, so I see that Basil is down. <laughs> and Alice, how are you doing? Not well. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Okay. All right, Vahera, how are you doing? 
fun hanging in there. That's not, that does not sound like a mission. <laughs> okay. Great, I had a plan, but now fuck that plan. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Dead. That, I mean, Vahera and any else are just like restrained by these colossal like Shit. Nagas. Okay, um, oh my god. You can, oh what? My god. I still use my ring if I'm grappling. You can do whatever you want, you just can't move. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, 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 okay. So I can actually Got attack it. the thing, it's grappling yeah. me. I mean, you're yes. firing guns to disadvantage. Oh no, you don't get disadvantage because you're a gunslinger. Yeah. 20. Yeah, you're just restrained. Huh, sorry. 20. I mean, as long as I can fight back. I mean, your heels do. Yes, that's what I was. Okay, okay. Yes. I assume that's what you're doing. Um, excellent, but I think I'm gonna do it at. Uh, I'm gonna leave it where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna cast. Um, so I'm looking at my cards and I'm like, it's oh, a really cool plan, but like that's fine. But, oh. Um, no, no. Of course. Um, so I do like a quick. Oh. A little, a little Cardian. Ah, is this a little Bacardi? Yeah, it's a, it's a, heart. It's a heart. Um, <laughs> a wind heart. Um, so kind of out of this like heart that I'm sending to my friends, mm-hmm. you see kind of this like really whoosh, calming, kind of warm gust of summer air mm-hmm. goes Aww. towards um, everybody, including myself. So all five of us. Okay. Um, so oh, you're wow. kind of in, in enveloped with this warm breeze. Um, and so, wait, was oh, everybody within 30 feet of me? Uh, everybody except for Vahera and John. But I think John's probably fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I haven't taken it. Um, John like to isn't vulnerable to. Oh, yeah, you can move towards the hair and do it. Yeah. You'll we'll get move... two attacks opportunity, though. Uh, no, because. What? I'm going to use my lightning step. Oh, yo. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's just like the, what, like the flash. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. I'm wearing like Korra armor, basically. Yeah. So I basically, you see me, and then you That's go. That's awesome. And then I'm going to be kind of, yeah, I'd like to be kind of there. And I don't want to be all the way over by the hair, but I'm going to You want to be up in the air or not? Yes, up in the okay, air. Okay, I put you up Straight in the air. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, it means, but when I do that, from where I was. Yeah, oh, you take damage, right? Yeah, so I'm going to tell, I can teleport for 90 feet, because I can do that three times a day. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, creatures in my line, so at least that guy in the yes. middle, uh, has to make a dex throw. Uh, they don't make it. Great. So he takes 3d6 lightning, so average would be yeah. uh, 12 points of lightning. Okay, and Alice, uh, the Nago releases you as it zapped. Yes. So yeah, so that takes 12 points of damage. I got it, lightning. okay. Actually, oh, no, plus my bonus of damage. Yes, you do add it. Plus 12 oh, wow. plus 16. Okay, so uh, you 28. kill it. Boom! All right, you so like as I evaporate, through it, it's and the like, line, you see kind of my uh, no, no, it's just, it's just, it's just like just... in between it, it's line. It's just like your figure, be, like yeah, of a lightning. It just kind of plow through yeah. them with your straight okay. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay, well the you electric are free slide? now. Yeah, I basically yeah. electric slide. It's electric. Through here. Okay, yeah. Um, and so while I'm up there, so uh, as that, um, you guys get that breeze around you. Mm-hmm. Everybody's gonna get. Uh, okay. I'm going to uh, cast Mass Cure Wounds. Oh, um, wow. So what that XP. means is everybody's going to get... Are you adding the 16 from your... Yes. Okay. Apologies. Um, so that would be... Let's see. Uh, okay. At what level are you casting it? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, plus, like, so casting modifier. I'm going to cast it at fifth level. Okay. So, like, so everybody gets 46 points. What hit the... points back. Oh, my God. Yay! That's 200 Yay. points of healing. Ah, I'm just about. Wow. Really oh, what? The hell? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're back up, Basil. Um, so, uh, but you're still restrained. Great. But you're at least you wake up in his arms. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in another <laughs> snake's arms. Yeah. Snake on snake's um, arms. Can I still do a bonus action? Yeah, of course though? you can. Because the light yeah. step was my move. Yeah, so you're fine. Right? Okay, yes. so, um, so I did 46 points of healing that I will calculate for myself later. Um, are we doing okay now? Do we need more heals? Are we okay? Need crap still? Uh, okay. <laughs> what? It seems like they still need healing, but that's fine. I'm good. I look rough. More healing. I look poisoned. Those no, acid and like scab healing word, right? Left you cast cure wounds. I do mat. Oh, mass healing word. That's what's this action. But you can't. You only cast cantrip, right? No, I can right? only do a cantrip. Can you though? Because your arms are tied. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, cantrip spare. It's still a tag. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Take this. Potion. You just like. You got five seconds, Molly. Yeah. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna. Okay, what I want to do instead. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, my my crown is just gonna glisten. <laughs> Yay! And it's gonna look at any Alice, and you're gonna just see the little flicker and be like, "That's so pretty." Uh, and with that, you have Sparkles. you have uh, advantage on checks, attacks, or saves. Nice. You can add what. Wait, 1D6, no, just right? kidding, not advantage. You add a D6 okay. for checks, 
uh, attacks or saves. All right. You have advantage being charmed. All right, now the warriors are up. Okay, Uh, this warrior is going to use uh, jump uh, to jump up towards you, John, and attack you in the air. What a dick. All right. Uh, well, he's, uh, he'll attack you, jump in the air, attack you three times in the fall. No. <laughs> <laughs> damage from the fall, correct? No, it's a jump spell. Oh, wait, they do take damage, yes. Absolutely okay, well. <laughs> uh, you have a feather fall, yeah. time to jump. That's a crit, and that's a hit, and that's a miss. All right, Great, that's 60 cool. points of slashing damage. Oh, oh, bummer. Is a dice that crits I mean, constantly? This one is amazing. I don't know who gave it to me. It's literally. Three crits oh, in a row. I did. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. He falls I down and takes twenty points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then, uh, any Alice, he will use the rest of his movement to shield bash you. Uh, That's a miss. Use the repulsion shield. Knock him back fifteen <laughs> feet. Okay. Well, then he goes to shield you, and you shield him back. It's a shield <laughs> on shield back. It's like, <laughs> and he falls back onto this Naga, who then falls back, and then uh, Basil, you released. Hi. Yes, <laughs> I planned it. <laughs> it's the domino effect of shield Let's bashing. Go. It's just like, oh, you, you no longer have to get up from prone. Great. Okay, you fell back pro, uh, on your feet, I assume. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Magically yes. fall to your. Feet. All right, oh, but arrow, like, you're up. Just like All right. Um, so and the uh, lair action is right after you from this crystal. Okay, so I am restrained by the snake. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Snake. So I, my hands are on it, right? Yes. I'm gonna you can cast burning melee attack, right? <laughs> and right. see if it'll release me. Uh, it probably will, yeah. Because uh, it has an average damage of 24. Poss- possibly, but you can fire it through as well. It's a cone. Uh, can I, though? Because my hands are like that. I just have the spell works. Sure. Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> you don't uh, have to hit the crystal if you want to, is all I'm saying. Yes, I will do that. Okay. So you burn through its flesh. A bit. Uh, <laughs> and burn through this, <laughs> this crystal. Burn a cone. And it's, uh, that is a bonus action. Barbecue snake. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. It does release you, yes. Okay. Cool. All right, it goes. Okay, and then I'm gonna strike with my sword and see if I can hit both the snake and the crystal. Well, I mean, if you attack with one sword, one and one sword the other, it's sure. up to you. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Um, Ooh, nice. Twenty. For who? The crystal, or you have to roll? You don't, do not have to roll the crit, hit the crystal. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let's hit the crystal with the first one. Okay, what's all damage? Uh, 22. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's pretty shattered, but it's still working. Kill the crystal, kill the crystal. Yeah, kill the crystal. Oh, I'm gonna hit it again. Yeah. Okay, you can't, it's, uh, you can't sneak attack. Uh, that's, I didn't it. add sneak attack to it. Okay, that's what I'm just letting you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sneak up on this object. <laughs> okay, I want to hit everybody again with AOE damage. Crystal, I think you just auto hit, right? Yeah. Hit oh, yeah, again. okay. Damage? Uh, 18. That's just enough. Yes. Uh, 100, yes, okay. Yeah, 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 you don't have to get asked. We have both the shadow blades and... It shatters and because oh. it leaks out poison, uh, but it's no longer working. Can I use charges on my ring or am I done? You use your bonus action already. Uh, <laughs> Air action, action, except for the crystals are dead, so uh, it's not going to kill me. <laughs> please, please don't make it kill me. You have movement and a reaction left. Uh, I'm going to move away from the snake. You will get attacked. <laughs> You'll get attack of opportunity. Oh. That's okay. It could kill you, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> 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 The hair will be fine. I would just stay put. Just yeah, stay put. Just, yeah, yeah, just stay there. Okay. Uh, their action is no longer in functioning, so uh, that sucks. Basil, you're up. Great. Got me again. He croaks <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, Basil. So face to face with these two, right? Yes. Great. Uh, I'm going to real quick second win. Okay. Nice. Uh. What did you see when you died this time? I haven't <laughs> rolled death saves yet. Uh, uh, oh man, okay, how do I get that again? <laughs> <laughs> That's in my DM notes. <laughs> get a Basil to roll a death save every time. <laughs> I didn't remember. Uh, okay, um, so... Basil can transform and gets 100 something temporary hit points. I was just thinking about that. I was like, maybe now is the time. All right, I don't want to go down again. Listen. It's time for the kid gauntlets to come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Oh Is that my fault you went out every combat? What? Well. <laughs> it's not I mean, my fault. Technically, it's, it's, yeah. a- it's completely my fault. <laughs> Hashtag I'm not steel. I am Titan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. see it. 
Nope. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to look around and uh, I'm sort of mathematically connecting all my friends and the lines of the earth and like the magic and the primal energy and I'm gonna transform into my primal form. Ooh! Okay. What Basil's hair like? just Basil's hair. You, you know what it is? Yes. You can. Oh add, no, it's please. Fine. So uh, Basil sheds all his armor. Oh, it's just like it's just like skin. snake scale just, just like, go up uh, his skin. Nice. Uh, his eyes, uh, his one eye lights up. Uh, his, you know, it's, it's shifting Ouroboros. Uh, and his hair becomes over long and shoots up in like a glowing <laughs> yellow green. It's like, <laughs> Coco, yeah. is that you? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So are you like naked now? All you have are like scales? Just runes. <laughs> yeah, it's just runes. It's like, uh, it's like it's just a shiny spot on the screen. <laughs> yeah. The light is just right. It's like perfectly placed runes. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient runes. Yeah. Great, and I'm going to um, use the special slap that 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 auto <laughs> auto crit the critter used earlier. Yeah, and I'm uh, gonna hit the guy in front of me. Oh, what special? Oh, like the from the slap fight. The halfling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A triple summon, somersault into a three-story <laughs> pounding. Exactly. Uh, what was it like? Corkscrew, whatever. Yeah, yeah okay. whatever that was. Okay. Uh, and I slapped this one with the crit hand. The one in front of me. Oh, wait, I'll make the you hit. Okay, Great. he's dead. <laughs> All right. You're, you're, and his his like head, like the snake head, just. Prints backwards uh. and he just falls <laughs> dead. Bye. Great. And then... wow. You have how many hit points now? You got how many temporary hit points? 107. Woohoo! <laughs> That'll help. That's pretty helpful. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to punch through the back of this one's head. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, you only get one crit per turn, I think. Is it? You tell me. I'm pretty sure. Great. Okay. Damage then? No, I still have to attack. Please. I know how D&D &D works. It's <laughs> uh, a roll to hit? What? I just, I attack. 21? <laughs> 21? Uh, that's a miss. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Great. And then? Uh, you punch. Oh, you, you were kind of recovering from the other one, so you, sure, yeah, you yeah, punch short. Sure, yeah. You too good. You slap too good. Now your next slap, you slap no good. <laughs> I think that's all I can do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pure Battle, anything else, you're up. So, you're bonus action, second win. Okay. Excellent. All right, can't save any else. You're still in the smoke cloud. Oh, yes. No, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oops, cloud kill. Oops, I, all I cloud kill. I forgot it was just hovering. Yeah. I can't um, have any effects for it, but I do get plus D6 on that, though. Oh, that's true. Yes, you do. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, mm. uh, actually. Uh, 19. All right, uh, that makes it. Okay. So you take I'm 20 points. That's a have 20 points of poison damage. Well, there goes my second win. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to float up. Okay, talk over here. Out of the cloud. That misses. That does bite you as you, as you do your uh, time teleportation up. Um, How far am I from what's his nuts? Uh, here, Dude. 30 feet maybe? I can't see him anymore. Oh. Yes. There he is. Yeah, 30 uh, Okay, I'm going to cast Slow on him as one of my actions. Okay, use Legendary Action to resist. Uh, can I Le counter spell? Legendary Resistance, no, that's how it works. Sorry. Mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> how far above the ground is he? It's like primordial magic circling around him and your spell just uh, dissipates. How what? far is he above the ground? 30 feet. So it hits the warrior down there as well. Oh, it's an AoE? It's a 40 foot AoE. Oh, that's nice. Okay, yeah, they fail. Okay, so... You yeah, haven't hit all three of these, Eric, probably. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah okay. Yeah. They both of them fail. Yeah. So they have negative two AC, uh, negative two their dex saves. Okay. They can't use reactions. Okay. They can only use an action or bonus action on their turn, not both. Okay, got it. Um, all right, so you... It can't make more than one melee or range attack on its turn. What? That's insane. Okay, and all right. The so future you... attempts to cast a spell with the casting time of one action. Roll a d20 on 11 or higher. The spell doesn't take effect at all. Okay, so they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just derpy. Okay. okay, all right. What's next? Uh, and then for my other action, yes. I'm going to uh, put bullets in foreheads. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, have your D6. On, I'm going to start with... Uh, huh? You have your next D6. Yeah. For your... I'm going attack. to start with the one that's basically right below me. Okay, yes. Um, that's pretty terrible, but still had some guessing. Okay. Um, the last two I see. Two. Yes. Okay. Um, it might two decks. Just, yeah, okay. Next one is way higher than that. Okay. Yeah, last one's way higher than that. All right. Um, so the first two are going to be, or for all three, are going to be 18 damage. 
Okay, that's enough to finish it. Yes. You don't. The third, just... the third one finishes it off. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I didn't waste that attack. Okay. Alrighty, and then I only Good used job. what thirty feet of my move. Yes, feet? correct. Twenty feet. Uh, I'm gonna come over and chill next to Vahira, see if I can taunt an attack by okay. just being there. Sure. Oh, uh, your uncle's next to you. Yay! All right. How do we fight this snake? How do we fight this snake? It's me, Snake. <laughs> okay. It's me, snake. All right, anything else? You are done. Dendar's going Dendar. now. Quick, uh, <laughs> Amalia, what? how long does that bonus last? I don't know. <laughs> what bonus? <laughs> the crown of Besselmer. Oh, okay, last X number of turns possible. Okay, so I still have it for a bit. All right. I think so. It's basically a D6 to a check, attack, or save. The time is almost now. Uh, all three attacks are going to go towards you, Amalia. What? Uh, <laughs> what kind of attacks are they? They are the, uh, no, they are range. Uh, Those primero beams again? Yes. What kind, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of attack is he? It's magic. force damage. No. Is she within 60 feet? Uh, she was in 60 feet? You have no. magical Of you? I have magical resistance. No, she's not. So you take yeah, you do. damage. They're force. So that's a hit. And those are both hits. Only two hit. So, uh, to 60 points of 30. force damage. You take 30 points of force damage. I wish I had All right. resistances. Uh, then... I'm a punching bag. Dendar uses uh, oh. action to begin channeling a spell oh. you can't tell the origin of. Uh, no! There's just a small aura around it's it. counter spell. It's counterspell. It's spell like ability, let's say. Oh. No! So ah. All right, John, you're up. Okay, I'm going to fly ah. up to Dendar. Okay. I'm going to bite, try to bite him right in the neck. Okay, I got you right here. Look at that. Um, oh, I see. Hey, we're close. And then as I bite him in the neck, my claws are gonna go and sc- like scratch out across his body down his arms. Okay. Attempting to sort of free his his staff from his arm as I, okay. as I Got claw it. around. Okay. Um, so that's gonna be a hit, a hit, and a hit. Oh, nice. Um, oh, this is awesome, actually. This is pretty epic. For a total <laughs> of, so that's gonna be 22 average piercing. Okay. Five cold damage from the bite. And so Wait, like, it's, full, I, it's all full damage. Okay, just, just give me all your total damage as you. Oh yeah. So use your claw, claw, um, bite, dragon attack, and your so you know half dragon. So that's twenty-seven bite damage. Okay. That is uh, thirty-seven claw damage. Okay. And then for my final thing, I'm gonna wrap my tail like almost like a whip. Yeah. Like I crack it around his okay. neck, basically, Ooh, no. and it like whips around him and constricts. Too, okay. That's awesome. As it hits. Um, and that will be a total of 32 damage. Okay. Nice. And, uh, the enemy is knocked prone. Okay. So, so like I basically, or instead of prone, I guess since like I grapple him, like he's constricted. I mean, does that work since like, like, sure, that's fine. So you knock, uh, knock him prone and he goes flying down to the ground. Bro. Squishes Basil. I mean, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it squishes uh, the Warriors. They and, squeeze the life out of him just enough that he falls prone. Oh, yeah, he would, he would fall down the other warrior, right? Shoot, yeah. Okay. That ah, <laughs> bonk. Uh, and he crushes the yeah. happy warrior yes. below him, right, falling right in front of you, and Basil. Basil goes, That's convenient. Uh, <laughs> at that point. We meet again. Why, hello there. <laughs> combat is over. Oh. Like, Man, huh? As. Wait, what about the snake that's by us? Uh, the snake disappears. Oh, oh this is unsummoned as a spell begins to manifest through Dendar. And uh, the neck that you pretty much almost snap, John, she comes back to the life and says, ah, Enough, you may be strong, but I will devour the sun once more. There will be no hope. And then the avatar creates a portal instantly around it. Uh, and ancient dark magic just explodes, slamming you all away. Uh, oh. Except for you, Basil. It's fine. Oh. Your eye flickers, and you can withstand this, like, uh, magic that's, that's, like, pulsating out, and Dendar dissipates through the portal. Ah, oh, coward. I'm gone? The portal's there. The portal's there? Yes. Oh. Uh, Go get him, Basil! Great. Go. I look at you, and then I run through the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's you? I look at my friends and then I run. Oh, it's yeah. you're, the, you're the, looking at me. Yeah, yeah, I look at God. <laughs> I look at my too. I look at <laughs> God. I look God square in the eye. Okay, so you're all, eventually you're able to get up, but this basil goes through the portal, just 
sucks in behind him. And you him. Hashtag regrets. Yeah. <laughs> you got Zendar. Okay. You jump through the portal and you find yourself flying through empty space. It's dark and it's lonely. Give me an end save. That's a 20. <gasps> okay. Yes! Wow. That's yeah! <laughs> Let's go! All right. How are you um, pushing yourself through this moment? Emotionally, physically? Everything. Oh, great. It's almost like you're just a suspended and feel like you're moving maybe, but just through nothing to nothing. Uh... I think I'm like contemplating what the snake's ancestors had said to me earlier about like mm -hmm. inner strength right mm -hmm. about like how i used to think it was being clever until i realized that there's like always gonna be somebody cleverer than you and then i thought like when i joined the party the strength was like enduring pressure and this like hell furnace of war sounds like that yeah. you know and then it was like well the strength can fade and so then i think that maybe my strength is my loyalty because I'm never more sure of myself than when I'm with my family. Basil, at this moment, little like lights, you see lights begin to appear around you. They're small at first and they grow larger. And there's visions and you see first those three figures you saw before, all your past incarnations, three of them, other heroes and protectors like you with other same values or similar values of what you hold dear. Safeguard the light against the darkness. Shield of Ouroboros. And you see those three and then more and then more until they're all filling this light all around you. Hundreds if not thousands. They all sort of start twirling and encircling you. And then appearing in front of you is this large mode of light is your mother, your father, your siblings. And they're all there as supporting you through their will, through their spirits. Okay. They all uh, set your hands towards you. And I'll reach out one to each of my pen. Okay. Your mom and your dad grab your hands. And your mom looks at you. She says, and she's not there, but you feel like she's there. We always knew you were something special, Basil. And it looks like everyone's here to lend you their strength. Okay. Use it. <laughs> what are you, Basil? I have steel. And you hear everybody like just echoing that, like I have steel, I have steel, I have steel. And just this chorus. And then <laughs> you break through the darkness. This power shines through you of your family, of your ancestors, of your hope, of your friends and allies comes together. And in a blink, you look around and you're floating in realm space, in outer space. Below you is Toral, your home planet where Faerun is. And around you are the distant stars and planets of the solar system. Behind you is the sun itself blazing. You look at yourself, Basil, and you find that you're the size of like a small moon, like hundreds of thousands of feet tall. Uh, and your your body just this rainbow silhouette of energy and your hair which is long goes down here like your legs it's, it's same thing as rainbow silhouette shimmering with the light of the sun and your fist just harnesses the power of like sun itself like supernovas <laughs> all right where's dendar now <laughs> <laughs> dendar appears like a serpent slyly in front of you dendar leader of world the mother of night this colossal serpent in her full, like, vestigial power. She's multiple size, multiple sizes of you. And these blue-black night scales, yellow eyes, and huge moth with, like, planet-sized fangs. And you're just kind of, like, floating in outer space. And the, with all of you, see, and anybody else there sees, like, imagine, like, a, a theater, you see over, like, the horizon, right? Into the into the sky, and you see, like, half their, like, basically half their bodies. I'll be like, you're walking we see point. giant space. <laughs> yeah, just, as if you're watching, like, yes. like this would, be, would have been, like, the Dawn War, like, like eons ago. Just giant, like, titans fighting it out uh, in space. Uh, yeah, you see them, like, just, like, basically just, but you see, like, half, half of Basil's body, like, because uh, mm -hmm. below is the horizon and stuff. So, 
Uh, and Dendar looks at you with golden eyes and says, I didn't know anyone still carried the power of the Dawn War. That son is mine. Hmm. You know the thing about shadows? Right, Dendar? Is that they're always gonna yield to Dawn's light. <laughs> <laughs> Basil, uh, Basil, uh, Dendar in anger charges you. You're a Basil. I don't know, supernova Basil, I have no idea. Doing what? <laughs> Uh, so, nuclear punch. Yeah, steel. Nuclear punch. So around you, you can, oh yeah, nuclear punch. Around you, there's asteroids. You have your own powers, whatever you want to do. Oh, absolutely. I'm going in there and I'm doing that Olympic thing where they throw stuff. <laughs> okay. But with asteroids. <laughs> all right, so. Like a disc or you, it just, just looks slow motion. Like, that was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like in space. Uh, <laughs> There's no noise actually. Um, <laughs> that's not true. In D and D space, there actually is. There's air and noise, but uh, and it's just, and they hit like you. How many are you throwing? It's just I'm just a continuous sort of. Stream. Oh okay. <laughs> and is that like Zendar charging forward like to bite you or try to get through mm-hmm. you to the sun? Um, you just <laughs> giant asteroids that like explode and shoot out uh, through, and they you see them like hit the atmosphere like the like meteors. Um, shows kind of thing uh, mm-hmm. as they come down. Uh, and yeah, you're just throwing it, but uh, she managed to get, like, get up on you uh, and tries to mm-hmm. bite you. Uh, you take, and so all the da- damage is proportional. Okay. All right, so you have all your hit points, okay. including your temporary hit sure. points. Uh, so you're gonna take a quarter okay. of your total hit points. As she bites in on you. And I know what math is. <laughs> I'll just say. Epic. Yeah. Hell yeah. You don't need the number. Right. I'm just okay. Oh, okay. Well, I've got a big idea now. Okay. You're All up. Right. You're up. That so... are giant fangs are within you. Oh, saving this. Great. Uh, I'm going to try to turn her into a balloon animal. Hey, how do you do that? Grappling her and trying to just sort of twist her. <laughs> <in the wall. laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's amazing. Very, like, that's amazing. Disney, like. okay, you do it. So you, <laughs> you grab Dendar well. and with a giant strength of like this, with of like ancient power, you pull her out <laughs> and you begin twisting Dendar, <laughs> who's like just like uh, writhing. Uh, and you see, this, you all kind of see this, like I said, in slow motion uh, and <laughs> in space. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and you have her kind of twisted up. Great. Okay. <laughs> Can I kick her like a softball? Absolutely. <laughs> or like a, oh my like god. A kickball? Yeah, absolutely. Team okay. So you, <laughs> you want to do that? Uh, Go actually, ahead. she's a snake, right? Yeah. At this primal celestial level, can I look deep into her eyes and cast animal friendship? Because I have it on snakes only. <laughs> I will just say uh, that is very, very fun. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's likely not as potent as, as kick. <laughs> as strong as just just drop kick the bitch. Yeah, you can drop kick her through space. All right, so you, and you and I, she does try to unball as you this, but you kick, and it's like again as you kick, it's like rainbow shoot out behind uh, your foot, and you kick Dendar, and she goes, and you all see this as she. Uh, you you hit her so hard that she crashes into Salune into the moon Oops, and just <laughs> uh, moves the whole moon aside and Ooh, look that. you, <laughs> you can see waves you can like... hear waves like <laughs> echo through you know throughout uh, Toral uh, and <laughs> and moves shutters and me what Salune moves back in place. Uh, <laughs> Nah, I got this. Oh, fine. Fine. So it <laughs> isn't just a moon, let's say. Uh, and and our uh, quite wounded uh, recoils back and says no. And she tries to just rush past you to the sun to devour it. Uh. Well, as she does. As she does, she's going to uh, kind of like body check you. Yeah. Uh, and you the impact. Uh, and you take another quarter of your hit points as you're okay. shoved. Uh, thousands and thousands of miles out. Okay. And then our continues towards the sun. Uh, I 
would like to lots yeah punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you do have the fists are basically nukes, like okay. Anna will say. Yeah. 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 yeah, you should literally punch her. <laughs> yeah, as I've launched so far away, I'm gonna use my like thunder gauntlets behind me. To, okay. Like, propel. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 okay, I'll sit her from the sides. Okay, <laughs> all right, I mean, you can, yeah, I guess you could, no, you'd have to be from the side. Yeah. Okay, all right, so once before, and you, you punch Dendar, which way? Um, away from the moon. Yeah, away. <laughs> <laughs> away from the sun. Away from the sun? Okay, uh, it's in the back. Did you hit? There's a giant explosion, and you all see this, like, uh, you know when there's, like, a sun flare? Ooh, it's like... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, and I'm wearing yeah. sunglasses. On the day of a solar eclipse. <laughs> uh, you punch Dendar uh, far away, uh, and you see, and you cause a giant cavity in the middle. Uh, it's, like, leaking darkness. Mm-hmm. All right, Dendar turns to you uh, in anger, opens her maw, uh, it fires a dark beam uh, of like night energy. Basically, you take another quarter of your hit points as you're hit by this. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. All right, you're up. Yeah, do anything. Oh yeah, you, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. And um, gonna. So she's away a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh. You hear you know that voice of little girls you hear sometimes. Yeah. You hear, how is the time? Use the sun, finish Tendar. Use the sun? I will just look at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> the sun looks like huh. it's there. It sure is there. Your it's friends are giving you energy idea. I think, I think uh, Hera is imparting something on you. Hera. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I think it was a uh, shale sure. or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Like w- the same way that I would redirect damage, I'm gonna. Can I siphon from the sun and like point at it? Oh, sure. <laughs> so like this slow, like a uh, little inferno at my fingertip starts to like build up and okay. like, sort of blasts out in a beam. Is that how you want me to use the sun? You do whatever you want to do. Right. I want to do that. It's your, <laughs> your sun to kill things with. Okay. <laughs> so you horse power the sun. We don't want to move it, you know. Uh, and then, as it does, it begins to grow and shoots off like a like the orbital laser beam, like <laughs> right at Dendar's. You wanted the face, right? Oh, okay. Okay. And then it recovers for a moment, and it's just like the power of the sun compels. <laughs> just like shoots off, and you see it as, uh, her face just begin to melt, 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 and it, and then in a second, as you let go, uh, it's just the body of a snake. It just like falls and then shatters into an essence of nothing. Yay! I am Steel! I am Steel! I am Steel! I am Steel! I'll make sure the saloon has. How does Basil like, get back? Oh, I'll you have to turn it right to the saloon. Polish saloon. Okay. Uh, and Wait, can I grab? Can I grab a little piece of the sun? Sure. Great, and I pocket it. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Listen, and while I'm in space doing whatever the fuck I want, <laughs> space is <laughs> <of> the sun. <laughs> a gift for a friend. Okay. All right, Basil. Uh, looks like Dendar has not swallowed the sun on this day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not today, Dendar. All right. And then you feel your, More like you, you feel your power begin Dendar. to recede. Dendar. Oh, yeah. I'll look one last time for like those who had appeared to me, basically, and sort of this. Okay. Whatever that they, middle space After is. that, they all show, they, they slowly show up like stars. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, and okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, and they all begin to applaud. And cheer. No, don't be weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, you and you all see Basil recede from this giant cosmic titanic force uh, down through the sky and land in front of you in the same form, but just like Basil size. 
That we run up to him. <gasps> yes. Uh, Pile on! Yes, yes, please! You oh, use your pocket the hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a mini, mini nuclear rail? That's a local <laughs> sandwich! <laughs> Are you on fire? You're a sun snake. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'll take the little flame. Yeah. Pocket, and I'll give it to the hair. Oh, you can actually handle it. It's a small piece of the sun. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. I want to bottle it. Put it in the hair and wear it. Oh, that's a fun idea. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's fun. Or like put it into my crown. Oh, somehow, that's even cooler. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm gonna figure out a way to put it in my crown. Okay, so now Basil, you have, um, you turn into this, I don't know, whatever you would call it, supernova form, whatever it is you want to call it. Supernova rules. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's all the abilities you have, all automatic, uh, and you get. Death. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Eight levels of exhaustion. <laughs> you have all the, you know, levels die. of exhaustion. Uh, you can fly. I can fly. Uh, yeah, in this form, uh, and you get death ward three times. Nice. Wow. And, and you never yeah. even actually died from your consequences. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you true. You died for being hit a lot, but. <laughs> Yay! Teamwork. Yeah, Here's we really didn't do anything. Vex Avengers! <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll! Oh. All so right. Can you, like, get big like that from when we fight Tiamat? Because that might be dandy. <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be uh, I don't roll. know if that's how it works. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> just punch that part of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I punch the planet. We'll see, but maybe that'll help us. Yeah, we defeated maybe this will help snake us. today. My husband came back to life. <laughs> Like, Eddie, Alice came back, back to life. To life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's coming back to life. And I would like a beer. <laughs> How about some fire fuck brand? A beer. I was going to say, fuck a beer. I want some fire brand. And that note of merriment. There's no longer merriment. I have to As a tower mind. rumbles and crackles with chaotic magic. And in moments, the those uh, maws around the parapets shut. <laughs> An anti-magic steel all around you. Uh, and it creates a dome above you. Supernova! <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're blasting That's all I got to go. And you try to blast. Um, oh, that's one more thing. We'll talk about that. You can, All your punches are ranged out. All right. Uh -huh. uh, in this dome above you, glows transparent for a moment. You see the figure. Oh, only you two have seen this figure before. Of a woman, sorceress. It's over long, dark wavy hair, black irises reflecting no light. Dressed in this spiked dark armor, thick chains, adorned with dragon motifs, and her brow is golden dragon crown. She has five spectral dragon heads, red, black, blue, green, white, sneering and growling behind her. And she just smiles. Let me guess. Our arch nemesis, perhaps? <laughs> Yes, perhaps, and most wonderful that you fell from my distraction, disposed of that miserable serpent. Thank you very much. What, you don't like competition? I don't need competition. It's frankly, it's a shame to see you risen again, Erevo. I thought you dead. You will be. <laughs> I have so many followers that would sacrifice their lives for me. That's impossible. No, to wipe you from the pages of history. You won't even be a footnote by the time I'm done with your tattered corpse. That's the point. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Now, what I will say is that with your return, shh, you can eat him later. With your return, my own brother and even my own father have decided to forsake our people, Ergo. It's such a shame, isn't it? The only shame is your existence. Well, if that's all you're gonna say, petty words that make no sense and are just puffs of air, then I suppose you must know that this tower is your ticket to hell. You see, you're going down to what was until this very moment, my prison in Avernus. And worry not, 
It only serves you for a brief instant until you vanish as energy for a return to the first world where dragons will rule again. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yes, it is right. See you, Matt. You can ban it. I'm going to rip your head off, and I'm going to chew it up. I'm going to spit it into the mouth of your other head, and then I'm going to rip that head off, and I'm going to chew it up, and I'm going to spit it into the mouth of the other head, and I'm going to keep doing that until you're nothing but a fucking slimy morsel. You hear me? Yes, in fact, if I had actually killed Amalia, I would have thought you as my prince for the new world. It's just a shame you're an idiot. Ta-ta. And you hear <laughs> And she just turns, and all you see is her hair as she waves goodbye, and her dragon head just snap backwards towards you all, and the vision fades. And at the same time, you hear the tower <clears throat> begin to rumble, and you feel it going underground. And gas begins to release. Uh, I'd like to really quickly send a, a sending stone note okay. to Vax so she knows where we're going. Okay, there's an anti-magic shield, so you're uncertain if she got it. I will try to send it. But it's not, it's got, and you feel very, very tired. Woozy. Any last words? Not, you know. I love you. I love you too. We're in this together. In this again? We still have each other. Yay. We'll be fine. We didn't fucking kill that five-headed bitch. And you all pass out. As a tower rumbles descending into her infernal prison in Averis. But about a mile away, there's something bright on the horizon. Blazing over the canopy at full thrust is this gleaming metal robotic machine. Mm -hmm. And it's flying with this kind of blue goldish propulsion. And inside is this calculating looking warforge with a minigun strapped to his side. He observes the tower sinking and shakes his head as if regretting unfortunate timing. He beeps on the console, opens the transmission, and he says, Friends, Looks like we ride to hell once more. And that's what we're calling <laughs> oh, Red Rain Adventures oh, 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 in the Jungles of Chol. Oh, oh, Get ready for Green and Garb's next adventure, which is going to be a wild ride in hell. Oh, <laughs> all nine of them. Let's go. Now's your chance to catch up on the Avernus campaign <laughs> found on our YouTube channel. <laughs> yes. All right. We hope you enjoyed this oh, yes. oh. epic adventure. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Round of applause Yay! to my epic player. Thank you, Jay. We got some excited time in this episode for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Yikes. Thank you, Morgan, our graphic designer. Woo! Thank you, Becca. Thank you. Digital castaway. Digital castaway. Thanks, Thanks to our mom for yes. making dinner. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thanks, Michael Gelfi. Yes, music, Yay! music. Nice show. Oh, wow, that was epic. Oh I my God. legendary. Do the like button. Do the like button. Subscribe. Swipe that like button. Ring on the yeah. bell. Subscribe. I'm Tell your guys. friends about this epic campaign where people transform. I it's amazing. And that's all we go down. Go long once. rest. <laughs> See you in the nine hell. Oh, it's going to be something you were not expecting. Ta ta. Yeah.